Well, let's see. This is a test run. Um, Harrison Mix Bus. Um, I got it for like nineteen dollars. Just something that I just um wanted to try out. Shots out to MG the Future. I think he was the he was the first one I I saw use this software. Um. I am, I, what I like about it is just the sound, just sending my mix, like I, I mix, uh, for example, in this, I mix, in, mix the song in Ableton, and I'm just throwing it in here for a little mastering, um, because I, I do like the sound, it, it has a sound, it's, um, it's thicker, a thicker sound, it's a little warmer. Um, look like the plugins respond um, just warmer or something. So, not sure how this is going to turn out, but uh, just thought I would share my process here. Uh, this beat will be available on my website, smarshawell.com, for free, for free download. So, uh, if you like the beat, go over there and, and, and uh, download it. Um, by the time this video um, is, is up, yeah, I'm sure it'll be up. <laughs> thoughts together okay so what i'm doing is um here i have my my channel i just have one stereo channel of the beat mixed a mat yeah mixed so fluid in here and we'll go and go to mixer over here and I um, bust this to the the bus one. Now the thing about this, um, the version I have, I believe there's four buses. Let's see, where well, it says eight buses over here, but. Oh, now see, that's something I didn't even know. And so you probably could get, you know, you could get real cre creative um, with this if you really want to do all kind of crazy stuff. But we're just going to keep it simple for this demonstration. So I'm only using one bus. All right. So um, let me let you hear what it sounds like with out the bus. Which is our verb, which <laughs> tell you the truth, I didn't even realize no, I had our verb. Um, it's a Waves plugin. I don't use a lot of Waves plugins a lot of times, but um that just goes to show you, man. Sometimes you, you know, we myself am buying all these plugins, and um 
I haven't utilized the ones I bought. So certainly this year, I think I'm, you know, I'm really just chilling and doing more with less, learning how to use what I have, master these things that I have instead of just continuing to uh, throw money away. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah, so I was bust into this reverb and then everything is going to the master and I have a tape on the master. So that's what I got going so far. This is just doing it quick. All right. So I'm let you see me work here for a minute. <laughs> Now, by habit, I just normally just do some cutting on the end of the whole mix. Um, sometimes I wonder if I do that too much and I don't need to do it. But over the years, I've seen that it's better to do it because you don't know what speaker system you're going to go into. And... Um, I'm told after 20 hertz anyway, it's it's really nothing, you know, it's just nothing down there that's going to make a difference. But that can just, a lot of mud that can maybe, you know, come up in your mix later somewhere. So I'm going to do that cut. And so let's take a <laughs> show you something here where I was messing up on a lot of my mixes. You see this wet dry right here and whatever tool, especially when you're mastering, this is going to be your sweet sauce. <laughs> if you have it all the way wet on whatever you're using, you're going to lose. So what you want to do is you want to find um, that sweet spot where you're getting getting the mix that you did you want you don't want to lose that mix you just want to um, enhance it a little bit so one way to do that is deal with your dry wet which it took me a long time i mean i i, I just really realized this that that's another way to do parallel compression Right. I would normally do parallel compression uh, where I would have one stem and then duplicate the uh, stem and put and compress it out. And so you have one stem compressed out and you have one not compressed out, which you can do that. And sometimes you may need to. But learning your dry wet right there. It's going to change your your mixes uh, significantly. Uh, so let's let's take a listen. <laughs>
how the order of your plugins makes a difference. So, you, you know, you'll begin to learn that. But so I want to equalize it first. Then I want to do my dynamics, compressions, meaning I just I want to keep things in a certain little spot, little box, if you will. Then I want my imager. And then I'm going to maximize it, get the volume up, get the volume right. And then we'll pretty much be ready to go. So let's... Um It's not working. Oh man, what's going on now? Um, what's going on, buddy? I like to aim for my volume around minus 11, right? So, let's see.
quick clean mix and you know that's what we got family so let's just ride out hopefully you like something that you um uh, saw here and um yeah hit the subscribe button hit the like leave a comment thank you for stopping by thank you for watching it's Peace and love, family.